Hello and welcome back to the Music Theory Challenge. You have made it to the last day, the last video in this course. I am so proud of you for making it this far. Now, in yesterday's video, we did a lot of work for today's video. Today, we're going to play on our instruments. In the previous video, we figured out the note names, the rhythm, the clef, the time signature, and the key that we're playing in. So if you missed that video, please go back because if not, this one will feel totally out of context. We are going to start by playing with our ukulele. So if you have your guitar and you're ready to go, skip to this part of the video where we're going to play on guitar. If you have both instruments, then you're good. Let's play. Now, our first note is a G. And ukulele players, you know that your string that's closest to your face is a G, but some of us have low G. So you have to be careful because this is not a low G that's listed on the clef right now. This is a higher G. So what we do is we go to our E string and go up the chromatic scale. What comes after E? Remember, there's no black key. What's after E? F. What's after F? F sharp. And what's after F sharp? G. Now our first notes are G. Then we have an A. You know now, you can go up to frets, right? G sharp A. And up two more for a B. But it's not very efficient. It's more efficient to play with the ring finger on that G or even the middle finger. Then open your A string. Second fret of A is a B, because look, play your A, then A sharp on first fret, then B on second fret. And back to your G. Pause here if you need to figure out that positioning. But let me play it for you again. G, A, P, G. And it's super beneficial for you to say the note names as you're playing this. Let's go to the next two measures. Pause whenever you need to though. Okay, we have B, C, and D. Well, you've already been playing a B, right? From the previous two measures. So B, what comes after B? There's no black key on the piano, which means it's a C. And then how do we get D? Well, there is a black key between C and D, so we need to compensate for that. So that's frets two, three, five, again. Two, three, five. Now the trick here is to play it with the right rhythm, right? Bum, 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 bum. One and two and three. And this line. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's play that rhythm with this line. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one more time. One, two, ready, go now. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. Now the most challenging part of the song is moving quickly through the next two measures. But we were just at that D, right, on the 5th fret. How do we find an E? Well, the next fret up would be D sharp. So we go up 2 frets, right? Back to D. C. B. And then that G. So I would like for you to experiment playing maybe starting on the middle finger. Look up. And keep that middle finger down, slide on it, and then that index finger can come in. Look up, look up. But the trick here, be careful not to be memorizing your finger positions. Really try and make yourself read the sheet music, which of course is going to take more time than one day. 
really day 30 here on this challenge is more of a long-term homework ass assignment. But let's try to play that in rhythm. I'll count it a little slower. It'll be one and two and three and four and. Okay, here we go. One and two and breathe and go. Now, one and two, slide one and four and. I counted that wrong, let me do that again. One and two and three and four. Now, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Again, I'm going super fast just because I want to present to you the song and this would be something that you would work on. Um, when my teacher presents songs to me on our private lessons, these are songs that I practice for months to come, okay? And now our last notes are G, D, G. And the ukulele is a wonderful gift in that if you hold G chord <laughs> after doing that little riff, then all you have to do is play strings E, C, E, because that'll have you in the G, D, G position. And there you have your final piece to work on. Again, it's good to practice with a tab to find the finger positionings or to double check your work. But I would love for you to spend some time just staring at the sheet music and making sense of where those notes are for your ukulele without the tab. Thank you so much for watching this challenge. I hope that you've really enjoyed it and that you will watch another challenge on this channel. The next project that I'm working on is to give you videos for all of the scales that are part of the circle of fifths. So I will link that down below once it's done. But if you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications, then you'll be able to see it once it's ready. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Ciao. All right, so let's do this song on our guitar. First, find your G string. So we have E, B, G, if I'm counting from the floor. And to find our next note, we need an A, right? So on the first fret, that would be G sharp. I need an A. So our first notes here are gonna be G, A. Then we need a B. Luckily, we have an open string for that and back to open string G. And we have to play it in the right rhythm. One and two and three and four and... Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Now, one and two and three and four and... One and two and three and four and... Let's do that again for me. That was a terrible example. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, Ready, go now. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and. Next we have B, C, D. B, C, D. So we have a B string, which is great. And if you remember from the keyboard, the keyboard has no black key between B and C, so that would be our first fret. B, C. There is a black key between C and D, so you need to compensate for that by skipping a fret. So B, C, skip and go to the third fret. Play that again. And let that D note ring for the two beats. So here we go. One, two, play these bars. Ready, go. B, C. D, B, C, 3, and 4, and hold there, hold there, because D is the first note for the next measure, so you have D, then a higher E, nice that we have uh, the E string that we can go to, string 1, back to your D, C, and you know that C is that first fret because we learned it right before. 
open string B, and back down to the G. So this would be the most challenging section because there's so many notes and they move fast. D, E, D, C, E, B. And this is something that I mentioned to the ukulele players before, but if you skip that portion, it's that when my teacher hands me new music to work on, I work on it for months to come. He gives me kind of a crash course on our first lesson and then it's my job to take that and practice. So take it this way. We're kind of running through it quickly, but you'll practice it on your own with time. So again, um, this section, red, D, slower, D, E, D, C, B, G. Notice B and G are quarter notes, so they are longer than the eighth notes. Again, three and four, slow. D, E, D, C, slow down. B, e, G, and we would do that twice. And the last line is a G, D, G, G, D, G. So you would just let that last note of the measure bring for those two beats. I said a big thank you to the ukulele players because I didn't know if they were going to watch this portion of the video. So if you're still watching ukulele players and guitar players and students of music, I would like to thank you for the opportunity that you have given me to be your teacher and to be able to do this on YouTube full time. Thankfully, we have people who watch this channel. It gets around a million views a month. So that enables me to continue being a music teacher here online and to do what I love to do, which is to show everyone that they can be a musician. They just need to take it slowly. And I also mentioned this to the ukulele players, but the next project that I'm working on is giving you all of the scales, a video for each scale, for guitar and ukulele. So remember our circle of fifths and we started building all of the scales. So we're going to do that with our guitars and our ukulele. So stay tuned for that. Once it's out, I will link it at the end of this video and I will create a PDF for that as well. But if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, then you'll receive a notification anytime that I upload a video for you. Again, thank you so, so much. I am so excited that we did this together. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you feel like some of the content went over your head, just start the challenge again. Just start it again and again and watch it. And I know that every time you watch, you will absorb something new. Be patient with yourself. You, we're all still learning something, right? Again, thank you and I hope to see you soon. Ciao.